CNN Politics, May 2014, Pentagon document lays out battle plan against zombies. Lays out, listen folks, <laughs> mainstream media. Pentagon document lays out battle plan against zombies. Well, the whole concept of zombies, when you look at these movies, these uh, series they have out, Walking Dead, what have you. The new series that I think is, <laughs> after seeing the first episode, is serious. Serious. The Last of Us. Look at this, folks. Pentagon. Let's read it. Now, the whole social climate in The Walking Dead are what? People who were, who were once under one rule of law, divided in clusters, an environment of mistrust. And it's all about surviving those who will come in and destroy and take what's left after the serious disaster comes through. A nation without law, a society of mistrust, an air of mistrust. Washington, CNN, there's the Pentagon, Pentagon. Never fear the night of the living dead. The Pentagon has got you covered from response to natural disasters to a catastrophe attack, a catastrophic attack on the homeland. U.S. military has a plan of action ready to go if either incident occurs. It has also devised an elaborate plan should a zombie apocalypse befall the country. According to a Defense Department document obtained by CNN. In an unclassified document titled CONOP 888, officials from U.S. Strategic Command used the specter of a planet-wide attack by the walking dead as a training template template for how to plan for real life, large scale operations, emergencies, and catastrophes. And the Pentagon says there's a reasonable explanation. The document is identified as a training tool used in an in-house training exercise where students learn about the basic concepts of military plans and order development through a fictional training scenario. Navy Captain Pamela Kunzu, a spokeswoman uh, for U.S. Strategic Command, told CNN, this document is not a U.S. Strategic Command plan. Nevertheless, the preparation and thoroughness exhibited by the Pentagon for how to prepare for a scenario in which Americans are about to over be overrun by flesh eating invaders is a quite is quite impressive. Mental ill man eating invaders. 2014 folks. 2014. Now there's something else. Elder lawyer. There's one other thing I would like to show. Now, a lot of people in the United States, United States elder lawyer, a lot of people in the United States probably didn't see this news, but I'm going to segue this more so uh, towards this coming Friday under our Patreon. Moderna to release updated booster, right? Fair use, Sky News. As you say, cardiology, we have now in a clinic a uh, super exciting program when we inject mRNA in people's heart after a heart attack to grow back new blood vessels to help revascularize the heart. So it's a bit like science fiction medicine, but that's, that's what is really exciting to me. But the, the other side of this is that right now, Moderna, though it has this pipeline, has one commercial product, and that's the spike vax. That's the actual... COVID vaccination. 
So that's the irony of COVID, is it really has in some way... Fair use. ...ways allowed you to go and develop these other areas because of the revenues that came through the door. You're 100% right. So, yes, I don't know if anybody's seen this elder lawyer, but Sky News reported that Moderna released an update on a shot that can actually help build back materials of organs such as the heart. Now, and he's all, he also said based on what's the initial, the initial plan of what, you know, what people have gotten along with this can actually become a miracle, a miracle drug that can help those who have heart issues. So, I'm going to go more into that, Elder Lawyer, this coming Friday. But all in all, days of Noah. Something is going on within this stuff, within what's going on, where eventually they will prepare for a zombie apocalypse. And it only lead us to conclude, Lawyer, based on what's, what they're putting out in media and what they're saying here, is that something is changing people. Something is right. changing. The science is changing altogether. And people are changing. How to actually heal a heart is changing now based on those who've received stuff. But here we go. If they are preparing for a zombie apocalypse, and usually governments doesn't don't put anything to chance. Who are they preparing against? Who would be considered down the line the zombies? And who will these people be attacking? And what are we going to do in preparation in a world where there's a lack of bread? Everyone is fending for their own. No housing. And the majority of the population have turned mad scavenging for the sake of survival. And when I say brothers and sisters, what's coming next is way deeper than what, what we just experienced March, 2020. If you think if, if you, if we're patting our back ourselves on the back for overcoming our fears and, our, and, and standing on our faith back then, <laughs> man, did March 2020 put you in a preparation mode in case something worse happens where it's not just a disease, but people, people coming after other people. The Pentagon have already done the training and I'm seeing some weird anomalies. I'm seeing there's a woman who grabbed their children the other day, took all their clothes off and said, we have to go and just walked outside without, without, without any, without any feeling for being frozen to death. No one asked what was going on in her mind. Is, was there something that changed her mind? There's something that's controlling her or having her go and do certain things against her own, her own thoughts. And like I said, elder lawyer, I told people Friday, let's look at whether or not the next thing that happens. I told people last Friday that the next thing happens. Let's see if they, if, if the next big thing they'll say has come out of Africa. Because automatically, if it comes out of Africa, people with this skin we're in will be to this world public enemy number one. All right. Joel 2, let's read it. And it, it says the day of the Lord. Let's read it. Yes, sir. Joel 2 and 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong, they have not been like, they have 
been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire goeth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. Mm. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. As a strong oh. people, that's what? Set in battle array. That's set in battle array. Read. Verse number six. Before their face, the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. Come on. They shall, they shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. Men of war. And they, sh and they shall what? And they shall march everyone on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. And they shall not break their ranks. I know some people was teaching that this is angels coming back with Christ. Nah, this ain't talking about that. Just talking about the people who are somehow infected. Read. Verse 8. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk one, everyone in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall not be wounded. They're not going to feel pain. They're hosts. Read. Verse 9. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. They shall enter in the windows like a thief. Folks, this is talking, this is talking about what? An induced army. People operating out of their own sense. Controlled. They've already set the stage for this, folks, on your screen. People are going to have to start preparing their food, getting stuff ready. I'm going to tell you, dry goods, all of those things. Okay, don't be deceived, folks, with the world going back like nothing happened in 2020. What is this? Fox 2, Detroit. Woman's sons freeze after mother flees with children during mental health crisis. No one is asking any questions concerning these crazy anomalies out of nowhere. Whether or not there's some, there, there's more to it than what's reported. What was really going on with her? What was in her mind that was leading her out there? That made her panic? Okay. Now I know I'm I'm pulling a lot of threads here. But you know, in respect of keeping this channel together, I hope you all can connect the dots. No one is actually going into uh uh the psychological fallout from those who followed March 2020 lockstep. There's people that are still living, but are there psychological side effects from, from some of this that's leading to Joel? And will these same people who, who didn't listen turn against the righteous? Well, that's the biblical narrative. And I believe that's the narrative they're shaping in Hollywood with the walking dead, the last of us, and all these other things. Which what? Which at the very end, an army will be required to contain the chaos. Bible. Is it hard to understand? When it comes to reading the Bible, the first thing that comes to mind is the fact that this is the word of God. The seals have been broken and the truth is here. And when we go throughout the scriptures, when we go throughout extra biblical records, we find that the language that God employed, that he used to create the heavens and the earth, 
was the Hebrew language. Christ said, I came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But yet no one, no religious leader, no religious church out there anywhere can now identify the 12 tribes of Israel. Can we? God is quite simple, but it seems as if man makes understanding him hard. What are those mysteries? The truth of your book. And the truth will make you free. The Hebrew and Bible Academy, you're invited.